Hello friends, welcome to another interesting and informative episode. If you are new here, my name is Julie for 254 Grass. I post videos on gardening, growing affordable food at home and how you can save money. Stay tuned because in this episode we want to grow some Chinese cabbage. I've got a lot of tips to share. So let's get in and enjoy the video. Can you guess what these red things are? Chinese cabbage. A video is coming soon. Subscribe. <laughs> like to get the tips and tricks. Friends, this is amazing. It's been so when growing Chinese cabbage, the location of your bed matters. If you live in a hot area, like I am in a very hot area. Today our temperatures are very high, about 28 degrees Celsius. Position your bed in a place where it's going to receive partial shade. Because Chinese cabbage grows well with only 5 hours of sunlight. If you live in a cold area, you don't have to consider placing it where there is shade. Because the sun will not be that hot. For me, I will position it close to these trees. So the morning sunlight is uh, good enough. In the afternoon, it doesn't need that much sunlight. So this is the perfect position in your garden. Prepare your bed and make sure the soil is loose and well draining. Friends, here I've got some compost that I will add to my bed to make the soil loose and free draining. So you notice know, it has a lot of uh, these red things. I will tell you what they are. This is like a slow release fertilizer. You don't have to use a lot of chemical fertilizers. Friends, another resource you can use at home that is free to provide nutrients to your plants is uh, wood ash. I like using a little, a little of wood ash in my beds as a source of potassium. Also, it helps to amend the pH of your soil if it is too low. Chinese cabbage grows when at a pH of about 6 to 7. So wood ash will raise the pH and it will also provide some nutrients to your plant. So if your compost and your ash, you are set to go. Spread the ash on your bed. And you are just going to mix it in. Don't use too much. That's enough. You're also going to spread your compost and you're just going to dig it in. Just like that. All over your bed. Close look. So I've just spread the ash and the compost. Can you guess what these red things are? <laughs> Is this red or purple? <laughs> Mix it in. Just like this. A close-up look at my Chinese cabbage seedlings. So a few tips. If you live in a cold area, start your seeds indoors. So several weeks before the last frost date. Because if you, if you start your seeds outdoors and the temperatures are so low, you need to cover them and they might not survive the frost. So you can start your seeds indoors. The optimum temperature for your Chinese cabbage to germinate is about 55 degrees fahrenheit here i live in a hot area so and our temperatures don't dip lower than about seven degrees celsius so uh, that's approximately 45 degrees fahrenheit so i did some videos on how to start your seeds in uh, planting trays here i've started my seeds outdoors in a different fashion how we do it here you just sprinkle a lot of seedlings and cover with just an inch of soil and they will grow like this. Then from here I will transplant them elsewhere. 
if you if you cannot transplant them without disturbing the roots don't use this method but if you can care, carefully lift the seedlings without disturbing the roots then this method is good enough so even in a small space just select a small area in your garden sprinkle the seedlings cover with a, about an inch of soil water them make sure it does not go dry because this this one cannot survive if it goes dry if it the ground cracks up you will have good seedlings ready to go the optimum spacing for this chinese cabbage also called dapa cabbage or celery cabbage look at this i guess it's because of the shape of the leaves is about 30 to 45 centimeters that is uh, 12 to 18 inches so on my bed i'm going to position one here at the end the middle and one on this end that will be good enough across the whole bed if i get even closer friends you notice that my seedlings have some holes see so these are pests that are doing this notorious in this area are uh, diamond back moth aphids cabbage worms and sun termites so i want to propose a solution <laughs> that is easy i'm going to do companion planting of chinese cabbage and garlic garlic has been found to be effective to fight uh, to control these pests that are notorious when you plant cabbage look at this so our spacing for the chinese cabbage is uh, 30 centimeters so in between the cabbage i'm going to plant garlic the spacing for garlic is only four to six inches apart so it just depends on how i'm going to spread it through the bed it's time to reveal the secrets this red these red things or <laughs> purple <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Dun. so these are onion skins you see after harvesting the onions i've been drying the onions and collecting a lot of onion skins so onions and garlic are in the same family alien family When the onions dry, they produce a lot of dry skin. So that's what you're going to add. So in addition to the garlic and this onion skin, I want to control the pests that are going to attack my Chinese cabbage. So I'll post updates and you're going to see how it will turn out to be. I've made my holes and here is the chosen one, friends. So a close look. So it's going to form a ahead you see the roots so your holes are not, they don't need to be too deep because the roots don't go too deep see okay let's plant so the transplanting for the chinese cabbage is done i have plenty left over but these ones I will not spoil them. I'll distribute them elsewhere, and what is, and I'll also give uh, some to my neighbor who has requested some seedlings. So the next thing is to plant our garlic. These are zero cost garlic seeds. Watch my videos on zero cost seeds. So just from the kitchen, I took some garlic. This is the soft neck variety, and I'm going to distribute them. So you sh when you're doing companion planting at home you're just growing your own food you don't you have to worry so much about the size but i got a good enough size for for companion planting here the bigger the cloths the bigger the bulb you'll get so this i'm just going to position remember i told you the spacing so I'm just going to position it in the middle here. This part goes down, this side faces up, and do not remove the skin. As it is, once you separate it, you just plant it like this. So I'm going to just, and it's not even too deep, I'm just going to use my finger 
like this the spacing for garlic is uh, four inches apart and just one to two inches deep so let me start from this point just your finger is good enough like this and you cover it four, four inches is about 10 centimeters so you just look you just measure 10 centimeters just with your hand it's good enough and you plant the next one using your finger you just push it down because the soil is loose and you cover it like that that's done friends I have five cloves like this so just between the spaces here remember this cabbage is going to form heads Remember, garlic also grows in a, at a pH of about 6 to 7. It also needs well-drained soil. It also needs a source of nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. So, these two crops grow well, and one is going to complement the other. So, just cover lightly, and the last step is to water and keep your bed moist. Friends, that's all for this video. Until next time, friends, let's create our food and garden heaven. Thank you, friends. Friends, this is amazing. It's been seven days, and look. <laughs> look at this. Wow. Look at the garlic. See? Wow, wow, wow. I'll keep on posting update, friends. I hope it works. Give this a thumbs up if you've learned some useful tips for your garden. To plant this, to create a simple DIY home using